Okay, here's um, a wonderful trick, self-working trick, I wanted to show you today. Um, at the end, I'll show you how it's done. So, um, I'm just going to take out the shuffle deck of cards. You'll see that. And I'm just going to give a um, quick ruffle shuffle. Just like that. Good them up. I'm just going to another quick ruffle shuffle. Just about there. And then ruffle through. Square them up. Okay. So now I'm just going to um I'm just gonna hmm. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a trick called Rubik's cards. And for this trick I'm gonna need the suit the diamonds. Okay, let's use diamonds. So we're just gonna find all the diamonds. There's two already. We're just gonna find all the diamonds and then I'm gonna use um an old skill that I had about four years ago of being able to do the Rubik's Cube. But I'm not gonna do the Rubik's Cube. I'm gonna use card I'm gonna do the Rubik's Cube but on cards. So I'm just gonna use my knowledge of what I have. Okay? So there's all the diamonds. Okay, so hold on. Okay. Right. Yes. Yes, oh, that would be important. Ooh. Mm, that's gonna be hard. Hold on, let me just have a look again. Yeah, okay. Okay, I think I've got a pattern. Okay, let's go. Um, on the way, I'm just gonna be telling you who I think you should subscribe, subscribe to. So, um, Snappy Snappy Magic, uh, definitely subscribe to him. Magician0196, um, Barnaby Howard 1, Meggy Moo 159. Defi Productions, these are all fantastic channels. Um, who else do I want you to subscribe to? Jack Magic three two one. Um, if any of my subscribers, um, if I haven't mentioned your name, please add a comment. So there we go. I'm just going to out jog, in jog, and with those cards, I'll just slip them out, just like that. And now I'm going to, hmm, yes. Power within. See, see, now I used to be able to do the Rubik's Cube about four years ago. I've kind of forgot now, so just add a comment if you want me to do a video on the how to do the Rubik's Cube. But, um, right. This wasn't the Rubik's Cube, it of course was Rubik's Cards. As you can see, the whole, all of the diamonds have turned into a perfect ace through king deck. Here's the secret. Okay, here is the wonderful secret to this trick. Um, it's that the cards are kind of in some sort of order. Now I hear you say, but you did a riffle shuffle at the beginning. Well, that's actually part of putting them in order actually. So, uh, you're going to need to get the cards in order. The order will be in the description down below. But here's the order and a way to remember it. Um, Jack and Queen, they, um, they, went to, uh, the, they went to see the Six of Diamonds. Um, and, on, and she lived on 115 King Street. There was a $10 cover charge to park there. And... Um, they were allowed to park there until nine till four. Uh, they'd seen the six diamonds so many times, they've been there uh, 378 times. Uh, that's the way I remember it. So uh, Queen and Jack went to see their friend, the six of diamonds at 115 King Street, $10 cover charge, nine till four. They've been there 378 times. Um, that's the way I remember it. The, um, it's in the description below. If you just want to pause your video now so you can follow along with this trick so you don't have to go to the description. Just here's the order. Okay. Got that? Pause. Play. Okay, so here, here it is. 
And then what you're going to do is you're just going to put that on the... Um, now you're not going to put that on the bottom of the deck. What you're going to do, you're going to reverse the order. So you want the queen at the top, then underneath it you want the jack, and then so on. Okay, so I'm just going to go like this. I'll just do this. So putting them each under, so you've just reversed the order. Like that. And just keep going like that. So now you reverse the order. So it's Queen and Jack went to see the friends. Six of Diamonds, 115 King Street, $10 cover charge, 9 till 4, 378 times. You're going to put that on the bottom of the deck. And that's your prep. Now you say to them, okay, we're just going to shuffle the deck. So you split it in half. Do a quick ruffle shuffle. Just like that. Square it up. Then you're going to take about a third of a deck, so your diamond should still be in the bottom half of the deck because you did a riffle, so there should be none in the top third. So you're just going to take a third from the top half and you're going to riffle that with two thirds of a deck, like that. And now they're all they're, they're spread all across the deck, okay? So, but they're still in their order as you will see. So it goes queen, and this time you are putting them down in different order. So queen and jack went to see the friend, the six of diamonds, on 150, uh, sorry, um, 15 King Street, $10 cover charge, 9 till 4. And uh, they loved it so much, they've been there 370 eight times and you keep going to show that there's no diamonds left uh, you can make up your own story for why it's diamonds but now I'm just going to show you the Rubik techniques so you're going to take one card and then put on top of it another card so that's how it will go so you're going like this one two and you're putting them on the bottom one two three put them on the bottom one two three four put them on the bottom now you're going to set piles of three Pile of two, pile of three, pile of two, pile of three. Now you're going to out jog, in jog every other card like this. Now it's good to have good quality cards of you have, otherwise your cards will stick and you won't be able to pull them away so easily. Yes. Out jog, in jog, pull them away. And you're just going to, oh, you're just going to put them on the top. You go down, under, down. Under, down, under, and so on. And that is the Rubik's Cards technique. Like that. And that puts all the cards King, Jack, uh, King, Queen, Jack, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. A, sorry, in order. So I'm just going to go through the trick again. Queen on the top. When you get out of Jack, uh, so Queen and Jack went to see their friend, the Six of Diamonds, um, on 15 King Street, sorry that's not 15 King Street, on 15 King Street, $10 cover charge, uh, they were there till from 9pm to 4am. Uh, they loved it so much they've been there 378 times. That's the order. Uh, it's in the description just down below the video. And then you're just going to put that on the bottom. Split the deck in half. Do a ruffle shuffle. So this will keep the cards at the bottom. Just like that. Put them together. You can, of course, do the bridge. Then you're going to take about a third from the top. Square them up. Do a ruffle shuffle. Put them down. Then you make up an excuse for doing diamonds. I just said, to oh, what suit should we fit? Let's pick diamonds. So I say, um, let's say you pick a suit. Let's say you pick diamonds. You can only do that on an interactive screen because obviously you can't say it to me. It goes like this. Queen and Jack. And see the friend. Sorry, the six of diamonds. On 15 King Street. That was $10 cover charge. They were there from 9 till 4. They loved it so much they've been there 300 
and 78 times you carry on shirts, no more diamonds. Um, you pick these up, you put the rest of the cards away, and then you go like this, one, two, put it under, one, two, three, put them under, one, two, three, four, put them under. Now what you're not doing here is going one, two, three, four, and putting them at the bottom. You're going one, and then you're putting that, the second one on top of the first one, then the third one on top of the second one, like that. So, um, if I were to just um, show you again, you can just always go back and look. Then you're going to go like this, you can go one, two, three, put them down, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, just like that. Then you're going to out jog, in jog, every, every other card. Just like that. Of course they don't know that you're doing these techniques. So they're not going to care. If they just like notice that you're not doing If you do yeah, the out jogs. Then you go down first. Then under. Down. Under. Down. Under. And so on. Just only putting down one card. And if you do all these techniques pretty quickly they're not going to notice. Just like that. And that puts them in. Ace, three king. Okay, so I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, um, add a comment, and I want you to do the like button, thumbs up, if you think Snappy Snappy Magic is a good channel. If you think Megumi 159 is a bad channel, do a thumbs down. Now I can see if you like their channels, and um, if you don't like their channels, I'll definitely recommend them. But Snappy Snappy Magic and 159, don't go putting thumbs down, always put thumbs up because I don't know if it's you. Okay, so um, please add a comment saying if you like this video. Um, if you don't, do also add a comment and tell me what you think I can improve. But um, until then, I'll see you next time.